Hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. Today I have a super fun, pretty quick project for you. I did want to let you know that I have gotten all of my catalogs. There's two. The January 20 to May 2020 catalog. It says January to May on here and then it says January to June on here. So you know, it expires like the very beginning of June. So there's a little, I don't know what we're going to call it. I've been calling it the the mini. Let's call it the 2020 mini because the next catalog will be the annual and then there'll be the holiday. And then, you know, before we know it, we'll blink and we'll be at this point next year because that's how fast time flies. But I do have this and then this is our favorite catalog because everything in here is free, the celebration. So if you've purchased from me from April of this year to now, yours is ready to go. And as soon as I get to the post office, those will be out. They're all in envelopes and ready to go. And if you purchased anything that, that got you a free gift in November, that's in with those. If you have never gotten a catalog from me before and you'd like one, just message me and I'd be happy to send you one. If you've not purchased from me in a long time and I don't know that you'd still like one, then just put an order in. And on Wednesday of this week, Stampin' Up! has free shipping and I will also have some additional specials. So check my Facebook page or my website or your email if you're on my email list to get the latest information of that. So today I'm gonna to use three new things. This is the only one that I can really show you. You'll see the other two in action, but this is, I love this set because I love the person who helped design it. So this is called Witty Sisms. And in Stampin' Up, when you sell a million dollars, then you get to help design the stamp set. So my friend Lisa sold a million dollars a million years ago. And back when she did it, you, it, that wasn't one of the perks, but they have retroactively let the, some of the first million dollar sales winners design a set. So this is the set that um, Lisa helped design. Super, super cute. We made these in Lansing at our class for the girls that came to our class in Lansing. Lisa helped and this was one of the projects that they made. It's got a chocolate inside. It's super bright and super cheery. And she's actually coming tomorrow to my um, demonstrator get together where we're going to make a ton of projects from these new catalogs. So this is the project that we're going to make with her stamp set. So when you go to see my blog post, blog post of this stamp set, then you can see Lisa's shining face. If I remember to get a picture, I'm going to try really hard to remember to get a picture of her, the set, me, my card, all of us together. So you can see it. So it's super cute. It's a must have. It's great. If you um, want to make note cards, it has all of the different occasions. It'd be great to give to somebody who's new to stamping because they'll have everything they need and it's really easy to use, which I'm going to show you a really easy card. Then I'm going to use a new die and a new folder. The die is in the um, mini catalog and the folder is one of the celebration selections. So I've got smoky slate cardstock. I'm going to fold this in half and then I'm going to use two of the sets to the stamps out of the set. It says relax and chinchilla out. That's why it's called witty sisms. So it's got a cute little chinchilla. Some basic stamping because like this is a great starter set. So just basic stamping, a little bit of coloring and you're on your way to a super cute card. So this is just memento. Just white cardstock. And it's red rubber, so new stampers won't have any issues with it. And then on the inside here, it also has, so it says relax and chinchilla out. And so you could put, you know, there's a happy birthday. There's some other inside sentiments that go with it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my silly cough. I've had it since before Lansing, which that was like early, mid-November. So it's been a month. So I've got the itchy retirement because I thought that goes well with the relax. So put that on the inside. That's all I need for this. So this is one of the cards they'll make tomorrow. When my demonstrator team comes over. I get to make lots of cards. All they bring is a snack share. I provide everything else. How much fun is that? Okay, so this is one of the free celebration things. And I know it's going to get missed. Not going to be missed in my thing tomorrow because we're using it on three projects. But it's part of, I don't remember what it's called because they didn't use the stamp set. It's a combo. It comes with a Japanese. It's a really pretty stamp set. I just didn't use it because I bought a lot of stuff. Um, 
but you, you'll be able to see it. it's rocks. So it comes with the stamp set and then the die. I mean the the folder it's for all the projects they're gonna make. So this is one of the new little label dies. It's this new stitch shape of labels and it comes with a stamp set, but most of my stuff is downstairs or half and half ready to go. Paper is being cut. When you have lots of people coming and lots of projects, then I'm kind of in a state of flux up in my studio, but everything's not up here. But this one fits just perfect. It's a say I may have see the issue is I have some sets here. I don't think I have the set that goes with it. I'm not sure what goes with what at this point. So that's it just it's stitched and it's a cute little label. It has different shapes in this label set. If you go to my blog post, once the catalog is live, you'll be able to see it. Now let's do this fun folder. So you can see it's it's like rocks. And so there were several several projects that we're doing that it just worked perfectly for. So it is one of the Stampin' Up! ones. So you need either some shims or the blue die adapter. And it just takes one pass through. I want you to see how fabulous this is. We went to Colorado, for those of you that live out west. I used those bubble dies with the black cardstock. I need to clean my plates off because there is a little black everywhere, but it kind of goes with this. So see, it, one side has more up. This is the right side. So it just kind of looks like rocks, which is perfect for our little chinchilla. Okay, now we just have to color it, color it in and layer it up. So I'm gonna use some blends, with some real basic colors. And you know, blends will bleed. I have two of those. It just feels super thick. I guess it's one piece of paper. No, it was two pieces of paper, so there you go. It shows you that our die at home pass can cut too. So now I'll have to cut another one because I've just ran somebody's die through there. Okay, so I have, let's start with the dark. This is Dark Smoky Slate. You know, I use my bullet tips most of the time. So any place where he already has some shading provided to us by the artist. Let's just add that. He's tiny. He doesn't take long to color. So any place where you want some darker highlights, just add that. And then let's go. I have um, the light petal pink, and I want this to be kind of his cheeks. Just for a little bit of, you know, he's a cartoon chinchilla and inside of his ears. And you can do it a little bit bigger than the area that you want because you can blend it out with the other colors. And then I have light crumb cake. And this is crumb cake here, so it's going to tie the rocks in so our card will matches. So I'm standing on some crumb cake to match the rocks. So I'm going to give his tummy... A little bit of crumb cake. And then I'm gonna take the light smoky slate and blend them all together. And if you make sure you go round and round, then it loses any of those um, obvious, this was one color, this is another color lines. Cause they just disappear. They don't just disappear, they blend. And you may need to go back and add a little bit of dark and then blend that again just so you have just two layers of color. And maybe leave just a tiny bit of white shadow in there. bit more dark this is also if you're getting this for a new stamper it's a perfect little set to practice blending on because we use blends on those because they've already got the dark and the light highlight spots on them just take 
this again every place where there's an obvious line. We don't want those. We want it to blend. Oh, I did do this on the inside. I just wanted a little bit of color in here. So I just took the brush tips. And on the It's Your and the Retirement, just lightly add a little bit of color. <coughs> okay, so just take some snail. And put your rocks on. And again, there's a right side and a wrong side. You write what you want your rocks to have the rock and not be rocks aren't lines. There may be another time when you want that to be the look. Like if you're doing maybe some of the more uh, Monet kind of paper that we have, the Monet look, when you want it to be kind of artsy. But for this, we want it to look like rocks. And then just take two dimensionals. And pop our little chinchilla up. And then these are from the Dinosaur Suite. And I have dimensional stuck to it because I pulled all this stuff out of my box to take downstairs. So they are called the Dino Roar Enamel Shapes. So in one I put blue, but you know, when you have lots of people coming, we're gonna need to use both colors. So let's have a sample with the olive. And I take your pick tool downstairs, scissors. Oh, I might have scissors. Okay, let's go for nails. And I used one of these. So let's go for this shape in the other color because they'll both work. You just slide one of these right under the tip. And there you go. Super cute, super fast. Here's with the blue. How easy is that? Super easy, super fast. And you could do, when I originally started, I was going to do the look and sharp with the cactus because look the cactus on its rocks you could do that taco about awesome you could do that on here you could even do the wow that went by fast for the retirement for a guy's car so probably the only one that wouldn't work on here because even the strawberry would work with this um, you probably don't want to put the little baby carriage on the rocks but most of the others would work on the rocks so that's what I have for you today and I have lots and lots and lots of new cards coming up because I have lots of projects for them and I will be posting them over the holidays. So this pretty much I'm done after tomorrow with some, like that's why I like to get way ahead. So now I just have to film and post. So I hope you like this. I hope you love Lisa's set. It's super, super cute. So buy it. We want her set to be a hot seller. So have a great day. Bye.